What's up guys, Chase Oliver 68 here, bringing you guys my Q&A again, but I'm not alone. No, no, no. This man is coming out of retirement. Introduce yourself, Mr. Man coming out of retirement. Game me dick. No, you're thinking wrong. It is me, Kuda Tromba. I am back from retirement. And he, he's back, and he's here to answer questions, and I'm going to read them, and he's going to answer the questions as well. So, anyways, uh, first question comes from Scott Casey Gale. And little Chris, and he asked me, "Do you like Brad Maddox, and would he be a good heel commentator for Raw?" Kuda, do you know who Brad Maddox is? No, I do not. Skip me. All right. So, anyways, yes, I do like Brad Maddox, and he would be a great heel for Raw. Number two, what is your Super Bowl, and have you ever been to one? I think he's asking us what is our favorite Super Bowl. So, Kuda, what is your favorite Super Bowl that you watched? The best one I have watched is probably the one with the Patriots and the Panthers. It had my adrenaline rushing the mm -hmm. entire game, even though I'm not the biggest fan of either teams. It was just a fun game to watch and to sit through. Uh, was I pissed about the final with the final play with um, John, John Casey kicking it out of bounds? Yes, I was pissed because I was rooting for the Panthers to win. But nonetheless, great game to watch. And for all you non-football fans out there who want to get into it, I recommend you watch it as well. Yeah, no, that's a game that I, I definitely suggest watching too. I, I, loved, uh, I loved that game as well. That's one of my favorites. And no, I have never been to a Super Bowl. Um, little Chris has asked me, and I don't know why Little Chris is sending me questions, but okay. Have you ever had a beer before? Kuda, have you ever drank? I am underage, so no. And I am underage, and yes, I have had a beer before. And that, thank you for the questions, Will Pro number one. Up next is Real Spider-Man Noir fan, and he, and he says, and he asked me, and us, would you date a fat chick like Brodus Clay type fat? No comment whatsoever. And Kuda has no comment, and I would say, if, if this girl was very sweet and swept me off my feet and I just fell in love with her. Yeah. But that would take a lot of effort from her part. Uh, moving on forward, he's asking me, what is the tattoo on my arm? Tattoo stands for strength slash power. If you want to know the meaning why I got it, you can ask me one-on-one -on -one via private. All right. And he's asking us, do you collect action figures? Kuda, did you used to collect action figures like the WWE, any type of action figures? I did, but I got bored of it. Yeah, I used to be a huge action figure collector. I used to collect the Jack Specifics ones like crazy. But ever since they went to Mattel, I don't like Mattel action figures. I like the Jack Specific ones a lot better. I felt the Mattel action figures are kind of lame in all honesty. So, in my personal opinion, I would probably have to say that I like the Jack Specific ones better. I used to collect the WWE action figures. Uh, WCW 3 Count 123 asks us, why the hell did the Bellas return? The Divas division won't be better. It's not like they're good wrestlers or anything. I mean, it's not like Mickey James or Lita or Trish who returned. Kuda, what are your thoughts about the Bellas returning? See, I haven't been watching wrestling for a year, and I'm even surprised that they still have the Divas division. Mm -hmm. They should just say, fuck you to them and bring back the Nitro Girls. The Nitro, I mean, the Nitro Girls. they didn't have to wrestle. They were just there for all the virgin viewers out there. <laughs> I, I would probably have to say that uh, the Bell is coming back, like, they're terrible in-ring, but they could be good ballets if they don't speak or talk. And when I mean ballets, it's a difference in the manager, because a manager actually has to talk, while ballets can just sit there and look pretty. Um, WCW3 Count asking, what games are you wanting to get this year? Uh, Kuda, is there any ga video games that you're looking forward to? I'm interested in getting... The next Call of Duty to be released, the next Madden to be released, the next NCAA football to be released, and I'm looking forward to NBA 2K14 the most. What about Grand Theft Auto 5? That's coming out this year. Unfortunately, I must get it for my Skype friends out there. Yep, like me. But Grand Theft Auto 5 is the game I'm looking for for most. I don't know, like... Maybe ask me this question a little bit later on because I have to see what 720 games and PS4 games are coming out since those new consoles are coming out this year. Um, and he asked me personally, who is your favorite Kingdom Hearts heroes and villains and why? Uh, my favorite heroes in Kingdom Hearts, I don't really like Sora all that much. Probably my favorite heroes, God, there's not really much heroes in Kingdom Hearts I like. I like Riku, I like Roxas, Shion, I guess you can count Axel as a hero, and that's pretty much it. I don't really like Riku, Sora, Kairi. I don't really like them. And my favorite villains, uh, Vanitas, Xehanort, and Xemnas. Those are my favorite villains. And 
the reason why I like the heroes that I like are because they're the more interesting heroes. I like their stories better, and it's emotionally more attaching to me for those heroes, like those three, and possibly Riku a little bit. You know, I like his story too. Um, villains, just because they're fucking badasses, and Xehanort is probably the coolest villain because he's the smartest. Um, thank you for the questions. Marshall McDonald asked me, what are the what are worse, Hogan marks, Cena marks, or Punk marks? Kuda, what's worse for you? Pug marks, definitely pub marks, because they will never, they'll never admit anything that's wrong with punk. They just get on my nerves the most. Like Cena marks, I can deal with because at least they can point out some flaws in Cena, except for the younger kids. But you have to admit, they're young kids. Like it's Cena's their hero. They'll never find anything flaws with him. Mm -hmm. But yeah, punk marks. Even if you're grown or little, you'll always be on his nuts, and you'll always defend him no matter what. I mean, if this guy killed somebody, you would find a way to defend him. Oh, he was looking at a buddy. He had to kill him. Yeah, uh, for me personally, I see. It's kind of hard for me because, like, I, I, since I'm an internet wrestling fan, obviously, punk marks are the ones that annoy me more. Because, uh, like, they they overrate punk to the moon. They make punk seem like he's like God amongst men. And so I would probably have to say punk marks kind of annoy me. Some Cena marks annoy me. Hogan marks. Some Hogan marks are just kind of chilling. Like, they understand Hogan was a dick back in the day. But I'd have to go between Cena and punk marks. Um, he also asked, is there any way the Aces and Eights angle can be saved? Kuda, do you think the Aces and Eights angle can be saved? I do not review anything TNA, nor do I watch anything TNA, so skip. Uh, yes, it can be saved. And we're going to have to see tomorrow night on Impact Wrestling to see if it can. Uh, well, technically, I'm uploading this on Friday, so this is being filmed on Wednesday, so you get the idea. Um, do you watch much indie wrestling? If so, what feds? No. Kuda, do you watch indie wrestling? You don't even watch TNA. I tried, but I, it just couldn't work. All right, so no to Kuda. Uh, this question is for me. Savvy, yes, man. What breed of kind of dog that you have in your house, and where did you get him from? I don't know which dog you're talking about. I don't even know if she's in my room. Uh, the two dogs that I've been on camera are Biggie and Chanel. Biggie's a puggle. And I found them on the streets of San Diego. And Chanel, she's a chug, a chihuahua pug mix. Uh, we found her at a Petco, and she was a rescue dog, I guess. Or, well, she, she, she was rescued. She didn't rescue people. She's too small to do that. Uh, but they both were abused, and we took them into our care. So pretty much those are the two dogs that I've seen on camera. Biggie, you won't see anymore because Biggie left with my mom when my mom left the house. So, yeah, if you guys don't know, I live on my own now. But Biggie doesn't live here anymore, but Chanel still does. So, I, I managed to keep her. Um, Clarson Lopez asked me, what did you think of Suicide and TNA? Now, Kuda, you, you watched Suicide and TNA. What did you think of Suicide? Yes, I liked Suicide. Um, I was a little iffy about him winning titles in there. But I guess he was a good it was a good enemy competitor, nonetheless, since he was Kazarian. And Kazarian is a good enemy competitor himself. Um, he disappeared in, like... When Hogan came along, I guess I was a little sad when they weren't showing his suicide anymore because I was actually the character was starting to grow on me. So, um, yeah, I kind of miss him. I, I, I like Suicide myself. I just thought the name was kind of like the only wrong thing about him. I just feel that, like, if TNA gave him a better name, it would be much more better. And it was cool because he, he fit like the mold of what wrestling's supposed to be suspend your disbelief, like a video game character coming to life actually wrestling, and especially like there's multiple people that you could think is known as suicide so it was something interesting to say the least um clarson lopez asked if john cena got arrested for beating a woman do you think wwe would have the balls to punish their top guy uh kuda what do you think do, do you think they would have the balls well uh, this is hard because like if it was somebody who was like lower card if you would say then yes they would have no problem but for cena i think they would find a way to let it slide or probably maybe I mean, to, they could possibly suspend him because Orn's done shit like that. Well, well so the like thing is, for this question, is that, so like, for me personally, they, they wouldn't punish him. They would probably just, you know, whatever he does outside of the WWE is out of their control. And the thing is about this is, he's not breaking any of the WWE rules. They would probably slap him on the wrist and say, don't do that again. But I don't think they would majorly punish him. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Because he's not smoking weed. Like, Orton got suspended for smoking weed, doing steroids. I mean, he, he's gotten suspended for that type of shit. He, he ain't never got suspended for, you know, doing anything bad. So, uh, like, uh, like he shit in, like, Amy Weber's bag one time. And 
he didn't get in trouble for that. So uh, I'm pretty sure Cena would probably um, lose a couple of matches on Raw. That's like the worst punishment he will get. And for heaven forbid, he could lose some matches. But thank you for the questions. And our final three questions, Final Limits 1 asked me, what three wrestlers would you bring back from the dead in their prime? And he asked either Eddie Guerrero. Uh, oh, no, he just said that who he would bring back. Um, who would you bring back, Huda? Three rest, uh, what wrestlers, what three wrestlers would you bring back? Um, well, one, I would like Eddie Guerrero back because I liked him as a kid. Um, another one, if he wasn't all fucked up in the head, then I guess I could say Chris Benoit since I liked him too. And I can't think of a third one right now, but especially on the Chris Benoit one, what he did was wrong, and I'll hate him for that. But before that, I would take that Chris Benoit back. Uh, for me, the three wrestlers I'll bring back, uh, everyone's going to say Eddie and Benoit, but I I'll go different. I'll bring back Umaga, just because Umaga was a great, great, great heel for them, and he was a great character in general, and I really did enjoy the Umaga character, so I'd bring Umaga back. Number two... I would probably bring back Mr. Perfect just because I felt that, like, you know, he could still do stuff and work very well with many other wrestlers, especially with the punks and the Bryans out there in the world. You would think that, you know, Mr. Perfect would be a good choice. And then number three, if I would have to go with number three, I would probably go out of the limb and probably say a Lance Cade just because Lance Cade was younger and he never really got a chance to really show his skills. And it's kind of a shame that, you know, what happened to him. And I really thought that he should have deserved a second chance in the WWE in the future. Um, then he asked, since you stated that you will date a girl who smokes cigs, would you date a girl who smokes weed? Why or why not? Kuda, would you date a girl who smokes weed? Preferably for me, I'd like a girl who didn't smoke at all, but it's her decision, not mine. So yeah, yeah probably. Same here. I mean, I smoke weed. There's nothing night. I can't really judge a girl for smoking weed. Smoking weed's fine with me. I would rather have a girl smoke weed than smoke cigarettes in all honesty. So that's pretty much it. Uh, and number three, um, what are your five female celebrity crushes, and who would you like to date and make love out of those ladies? Um, fuck. Uh, I'm not a big movie celebrity guy, so this is kind of, uh, no offense, Final Limits, this is the wrong question to ask me, because I don't really follow celebrities like most people. Like, I don't have, like, a celebrity crush. crush. Like, I, I, if anything, like, what, what, who's that girl in the Adam Sandler movie? Just go with it, Kuda. Who, who is that girl? Jen is that Jennifer Anderson? Uh, which one? The hot one, Jennifer Anderson. Oh, yeah, her, her. Uh, I'd probably go with her. That's, like, the only one I really know. Kirsten Ducks back in the day, before she became fat, probably go with her. Number uh, one, Beyonce. Number two, Beyonce. Number three, Beyonce. Number four, Beyonce. And number five, Sofia Vergara. Uh, there's kudos. Um, but, yeah, and all honestly, like I said, I, I do not... I, I'm not like a celebrity guy, so I'm sorry if I couldn't really answer that question very well, but pretty much I don't know that much celebrities. But thank you, Kuda, for joining me on this. No problem, and I will be going back to retirement, so fuck you all. No, you're not out of retirement. You're not done with done with me yet, because Kuda will be on here for my NFL topic video. We're going to talk about stuff in the free agency. Just big signings, nothing small, nothing little. Um, pretty much all the big players are gone, so let's get started on doing that in the near future. I'll see you all next time. Chase Oliver 68 If you guys want more questions asked to ask me, inbox me here on YouTube or via Twitter at Twitter Chase Oliver 68 Also, comment down below your thoughts on any of the questions that were asked towards me. Like this video. Subscribe by clicking the little icon. And I'll see you all soon. Chase Oliver 68 here saying...